Welcome to ICANN TV News with me, Alpha Abu in Freetown. For our top stories, mobile phone service provider Comium faces cancellation of its license and resources. Four teenagers remanded in custody over sexual assault charge. Those are our top stories and much more in our TV news from Freetown, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone's Telecommunications Regulatory Body, NATCOM, has cancelled the license and resources allocated to mobile phone service provider, Chromium. A statement issued by NATCOM says the decision, which followed an earlier suspension order, was arrived at after the company failed to fulfill conditions set, which were to have been met within the 47 days of suspension which ended on the 29th of November. NATCOM notes that without prejudice to consumer interest, the economy and development of the telecommunications sector, it deems the continued financial liabilities of the company as a serious predicament to providing needed essential services to its customers and which warranted NATCOM's action. The license cancellation order, though, would become effective on the 22nd of this month. Comium was reportedly facing serious financial difficulties and its workers had on several occasions protested over non-payment of salaries. Four teenage boys, all under 18, have appeared before a Freetown magistrate court on a charge of sexual assault on a 13-year-old girl. The alleged crime was said to have occurred at Susan's Bay in Freetown on the 15th November. All four, after their first appearance, were refused bail by Magistrate Komba Commander and remanded at the juvenile home at Kingdom, west of Freetown. Their next court appearance is on Friday next week. 100 Nigerian health workers have arrived in Sierra Leone to assist the country tackle the Ebola epidemic. A senior official at the Nigerian High Commission in Freetown was quoted in a local newspaper disclosing that the team include 30 clinical doctors, 5 pediatricians, 15 general practitioners and nurses. The contingent is part of the African Union efforts in the fight against Ebola. Nigeria donated $3.5 million to the three affected countries of Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. Meanwhile, the Sierra Leone Parliament has ratified a $99 million grant agreement between the government and the International Development Association to fund the Ebola Emergency Response Project. The advisor to the Koinadogu District Ebola Task Force, Momo Conte, says houses close to the border with Guinea that records cases of Ebola will be burnt as a means of stopping the spread of the disease. Mr. Conte issued the warning during meetings in various parts of the district attended by local people and representatives of the World Health Organization the United Nations Crisis Management Team and other local groups involved in the battle against the disease. Koinadugu was for four months the only of Sierra Leone's 14 districts not to have recorded a case of Ebola. It has since recorded some 86 cases. And for our ICANN TV social news, a well-known Sierra Leonean woman living in London, England, Patricia Kabase, has organized a birthday party for her daughter, Regisha Kabu, who turned 18. It was quite a sumptuous and glittering affair, befitting a girl turned woman. The party was well attended by people of different nationalities, including Sierra Leoneans. There were the usual speeches, sharing of gifts, photo poses, and of course, cutting of the cake. The chief celebrant's mother, Patricia Kabase, comes from a distinguished family in the Kano district. She is the daughter of well-known late Paramount chief, Kabase. The father of Regisha was extremely happy about the function and spoke to ICANN TV's CEO, Emerson Safa.
I can TV News, a recap of our top stories. Sierra Leone's Information, Communication and Technology Regulatory Body, NATCOM, has cancelled the license of mobile phone service provider Colmium. A statement issued by NATCOM says the cancellation order, which comes into effect on the 22nd of this month, was due to Colmium's failure to fulfill conditions spelled out in an earlier 47 days suspension order. Four teenage boys have been remanded in custody for sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl at Susan's Bay in Freetown. And that's the end of our ICANN TV news.